This week, Joe and Kathy get the lowdown on a portable lift system, get a sneak peek at the prototype of a Jeep roof upgrade, and shed some new light on tools that make your life easier. Next on Performance TV, presented by Top Code. Welcome to Performance TV presented by Topcoat. Having the ability to lift your car, it changes the game. Whether it be an oil change or a brake job, you can suddenly do it much, much better. And that's exactly what the people at Danmar are all about. Paul is here. Paul, you've been doing this for a long time. Thank you, Joe. Well, over at Danmar, you know, we like to service all our, you know, consumers from the do-it-yourselfer all the way to the commercial guy. So whether it be a two-post portable, uh, four-post storage, even a 12 thousand pound four post storage we have it but we like the max tilt for that do-it-yourselfer and I think it's unique and I we really really like it well I can't wait to see it the max jacks tilt first of all it's very small this is the kind of thing that would be portable and stow away easily maybe for a homeowner who only has to lift their car every once in a while it looks like a pretty spectacular piece of engineering tell me a little more about it yeah we're really proud of it it's well built all the you know the gears are internal, no uh, lubrication needed. Everything is is self-contained. All you need is a half-inch drill bit. That's it. Half-inch drill to get this thing up and going. Half-inch drill. That's it. Now, what else comes in the kit? I noticed some of the parts and pieces move around to adjust under the car. What do we get in this whole kit? Yeah. So the, the floor plates are adjustable. You know, there's different vehicles out there with different sizes. You know, depending on those those pinch welds or where where those lifting points are. So you have a little adjustability with that. It also comes with uh, risers. So depending on, let's say, you have just like the Mustang here. Uh, side skirts. If you don't want to ruin those things, you want to get a little higher above those, you could use these risers, put them right on top, it lifts it out of the way out of those uh, side skirts. It also comes with these metal rails. So let's say you have a nicer floor, you have an une uneven surface, you could drop it on this thing and it'll roll nice and easy on that. And then lastly we have half inch drill bits. We give you about three or four just in case they strip out but uh, we, we also include those also. Now the principle of the whole deal is to find a pivot point on the car and it might take a minute or two the first time you do it, but then you raise the car and you're actually tilting it back and forth. Give me some principles. Right, so you know, it's gonna take a couple times. You know, every vehicle's different, but most of them, you know, front engine, so a little heavier on the front. So it's about 14 inches off the front wheel. As soon as you find that sweet spot, mark it. You'll, you'll, you'll do it every single time once you, once you figure it out and then the, the tilt will be nice and easy. Well, let's stop talking about it and start doing it. Get this thing in place and lift this Mustang. Now that we've got our Mustang up in the air, you can really see how the Max Jacks tilt works. We've got about four feet of clearance. Now, we did roll up on planks because the Mustang is low, but this thing is working pretty sweet. Paul, whether it be an oil change, working on brakes, detailing the underside of the front end, we have total access up there. Yeah, thanks, Joe. You know, we made the, the tilt for that do-yourself guy, the guy that doesn't want to put that permanent lift in there. Uh, something you could take out, put, hang on the wall, get out of the way. It's, it's, a, it's a special unit. So I, I love the fact, and it is my situation, I do not have a lot of space, but I would love to be able to get under the car. And the best part is it tilts. Yeah. For me, like we got to get under the back of the car. Well, just like that. And now we can go under the back. And everything we did up front, whether it be cleaning, detailing, checking, inspecting, we can do it under the back. And that is just so easy. Most people don't have that kind of access to the underside of their car. Right, and we're gonna start working on the front end. All we gotta do is give it another tilt. Real simple, real easy. Just like that. And you even have a safety feature, obviously. Yeah. You're under the car working. You want to have an extra layer of safety, and you've got it. Right. I mean, the car, basically, it's not going to come down on you, but we like to include something that just for peace of mind. It's a telescoping tripod. So when you're uh, under there working, just slide under, put it there, adjust it to the height that you need, and you're good to go. Now, what's cool to me is that it's portable and that you can do this 
go to work one day, spend some time with your car, whatever the job, we listed many, but after it's over, it can hang on your wall. You just take it, hang it on the wall. You know who I think could really use this? People out in the field. Maybe you're at a racetrack or you're somewhere where you wouldn't normally be able to have access to a lift. This can come along with you. No, that's exactly what we made it for, you know. Uh, about 100 pounds, very easy to, to maneuver, put it in the back of the truck, take it to the track. There's just so many uh, just, just great uh, things you could do with it. And it goes up and down so easy, just using the drill. And the fact that it locks in place gives me like a sense of security that while I'm under there working on it, checking out all aspects of my car that I normally can never see, I'm going to be safe and conveniently put away. Right, yeah. Internally we have locks, so depending on how you want to bring it, uh, whether it's two inches off the ground up to 24 inches at the center, it's going to lock in place. But as long as you have that tripod there, you should feel safe and you shouldn't have any issues at all with it. It'll hold over 6,000 pounds. You get four feet of clearance. It stows away very easily. How cool is that? I got to get me one of these. We'll be back with more Performance TV presented by Topcoat after this. Performance TV presented by Topcoat is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Wild Horses Four Wheel Drive, Off Road Bronco Parts and Accessories. Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. And by Topcoat, advanced coating solutions through innovation and technology. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Topcoat. Wouldn't it be great to be able to enjoy your Jeep, your JK Series Jeep with both kinds of tops. We're going to be able to do that with track top. And Kurt, what we have here in front of us is something that you guys have been working on for a long time. Yeah. And this is a prototype. This is correct. This is a 3D printed prototype by our good friends Titan Robotics in Colorado Springs. And this allows you, like you were saying, to have your hard top and also your soft top. Okay, so yeah, and, and be able to put this in very simply, which we're gonna see here in, in just a couple of minutes. But, so we have it open. Mm -hmm. We're able to enjoy all of the elements. Right. All right, so we're gonna be going in the store or whatever, or maybe we've got some rain coming, but we can still close this up. Fantastic, you can close it up. And it's quite simple. What you do, you move this forward. Okay. And basically, when you move it forward, you have the capability to now have that cover. Okay, so what, what is the cover made of? This cover is made of canvas for this, for this particular prototype. And you talked about rain, correct? Yes. And it's quite simple. When you pull it forward now and you have rain, you'll find that we have designed it with grooves in the side. Okay. Allowing the rain to fall off of the canvas into the grooves. So with this being a prototype, I mean, what we see here is a very neat piece, but it's going to be so much smoother and we're not going to see the grains and stuff and the lines right. like we do, would from the 3D printing. Yes, uh, and with the 3D printing, you get these lines based on the process. What you will see for the end product will be automotive quality very smooth, no lines. And we mentioned this for the JK series, so that was going to cover the two-door or the four-door, but you also have something else that's going to be in the works as well for other Jeep owners. Jail specifically. And what we're looking at for the JL series, it will obviously have the same functionality as this JK. All right, well, I love being able to have it open. I love being able to slide this out, but what about, you're gonna have a hard top too? Yes, the hard top m is mainly for when the weather gets really bad. Okay. Specifically, if you're in a hail storm. Hail or, storm or something like that. Or you like find that. yourself in a, in a storm situation, you just pop that on and you have your canvas covered. Absolutely perfect. What do you say we get over and get this installed? This new roof is really going to increase the versatility of this Jeep. TJ, you guys designed it so that you can be driving and with one quick motion be protected from the rain. That's really cool. That's correct. We just want to be able to take advantage of open air driving and uh, protection from elements whenever you need it. Well, let's uh, do the install. I don't know if we could call it an install, right? We're just putting the roof on. Yeah, it's just a direct replacement for the freedom panels. It's pretty simple. You just drop it right into place. It's pretty lightweight. Yeah, it's not too heavy. Again, this is just a prototype, but once we have the finished product, it's going to be a lot less uh, heavy. Now, I can tell from the prototype that you guys have put a lot of thought into it, especially with these rain channels. So when the top is closed, if you were to get a little precipitation, it will use the factory channels. Correct. It'll come right through the canvas, gather underneath this, and come out these little ports out the side. That's great, so it's not gonna leak. All right, my side is in place. Yep. Slide on in, and just like that, 
we're ready to rock and roll. You're set. I love you just it. Just gotta put these knobs in and you're good to go. Get the knobs in, and then a perfect example, we're out on the trails, we're enjoying the roof. All of a sudden, something comes down, we want a little protection, maybe even some shade from the sun, and then slide this forward. That's correct. Look at that. Simple as that. Excellent. Now, when do you expect these to be available? Uh, we're looking to shoot for the end of summer, early fall. Very cool, very cool. And the Jeep experience, right? You want to be out in the wilderness. You want to be able to be open air. That's the whole point of a Jeep. And it looks like you guys, with this innovation, have really enabled that to happen a little bit more. Yeah, that's the whole point. Very cool. Now, this is just a prototype. Right. What is the regular version going to be made out of? So the, all the plastic is going to be like an ABS type material, same as the regular hard tops right now. And the canvas itself is actually going to be more like a soft top material, a little bit a lot thicker, a lot stronger, a lot more able to withstand all the weather. Very cool. Keep yeah. the sun off your head. Now, what were you trying to solve when you innovated this product? Well, when I had my TJ, um, it was just a lot of sun, too much wind sometimes when you're driving down the road, especially with the soft top down. So I just wanted something quick and easy that you could use and, and uh, take advantage of. Big time versatility. Right. And we got to remember the point that there's going to be a hard top that snaps in over that. Uh, if you got caught in a big rainstorm, a hailstorm, you'll have some protection. Correct. So there's going to be two different versions, a solid one and a tinted version. So that way, it's almost like a moon roof. But that will also prevent uh, rain, hail, whatever. And then also during like the winter months, this makes it a full-time year-round roof. Well, I love the fact that we've got all the factory latches, that it goes right in place. It's a direct replacement, but it increases your versatility. I love the entrepreneurial spirit. I love what you guys are doing. If you think it's cool, also, you got to check out the website. I know you Jeep owners out there are going to be all over it. We'll be back with more Performance TV presented by Top Coat. TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. We want to give you guys a closer look at something that we get an opportunity to use here in the studio and is a really cool light show that we have underneath the car right now that's up on the lift and you don't have anything in your way and it's our Helios light. For me, more light is always better. When I'm working under a car, I need as much light as possible. First of all, most garages are not very well lit, but when you can have the light going up, that is what makes the difference. Right. This thing is so thin. Yes, and with the Helios light, you can step on it. You don't have to worry about that. I mean, actually, you can drive on this thing. It can take up to 15 tons, and you don't have to worry about dropping tools on it or whatever because, for the most part, this thing is really, really rugged and can take it. Plus, fluids, liquids, oil, all kinds of stuff like that. And, Joe, you were mentioning just the light itself. You don't have a whole lot of shadows. No, exactly, and that's what makes the difference. A regular shop light, it gets behind you, it's on the side of you, it's next to your creeper, you can't see it. This nice, even light. And the controller, for me, one touch on, one touch off. Touch and hold dims, release, touch and hold, brightens. Yep, up to Simple eight, as that. 8,200 lumens, and you can take this remotely as well. With a battery pack, you could use this outside for up to two hours. I would definitely have it in my garage because I'm doing a lot of work. I need light. You know, I'm getting a little older, a little bit. I need as much light as possible. You know what? They even have colored ones as well with the RGB. Find out more about the Helios light. Go to the website, helios-light.com. Time now for Top Coats Tips and Techniques. Not only is Top Coat awesome for modern day cars, it is absolutely the best product on the market for valuable classics and collectives, right Scott? Absolutely, you know, we've got a lot of customers that come to us uh, specifically because they want this paint to stay original. They don't want to keep degradating it with the common products that are on the market today. And that's where Top Coat really shines because Top Coat only enhances that, restores it, protects it, but also starts building up. Thus, you're only affecting the coating. Right? Well, you can see the technology working right before our eyes because we've already worked on this a little bit. And as Scott does it, you can see how rich the paint is. It's, oh, yeah. The technology is filling in and bonding right before your eyes. Even though it takes 24 hours for it to fully cure, you know, it, you can see it happening even this fast. Oh, yeah. And, and also, that what's really impressive is, you know, we sort of joke, but how much shinier can you make a shiny car? Right. Well, perfect example. I mean, the top coat really, the F11 really enhances those dark colored cars. 
And one of the really great things is, is, you know, my partner pointed out is, you know, the Isinglass or the plastic glass, especially on a lot of these collectible, you know, and antique cars, the top coat is so user friendly on that, but it also helps restore it, keeps it supple and really improves by filling in a lot of the micro scratches and demarcations that you would get. And uh, it's, it's a very um, easy, very go-to and friendly coating when you want to use it across the spectrum, whether it's that, or even watch this, this is very unique. So this is a vinyl top, right? Well, I don't have to worry about not getting that, like say with another product, you know, where one product's for this, one product's for that, one product's for this. I'm literally doing it all. And, uh, and not only that, but I'm improving, I'm restoring, and I'm protecting every one of these surfaces, including this paint. And like we have customers that talk about, they have classic cars and they're so worried about abrasive products out there that tear down their, their surfaces. So like, like Eric is one of them, one of our, yeah, one of our great customers, you know, beautiful Corvette. And it's, a, it's an orange, it's all original. A split window, beautiful car, but all the products he was using just kept ruining that clear coat. And uh, so at the end of the day with the Topco products, it started filling all of that in, started improving it, and from this day forward, it looks brand new again, and uh, he's got the original paint, and that's what he was after. And to learn more, go to topcoat.tv. Back in the day, cars did not have a cabin air filter. Fortunately today, they do and keep us a little cleaner and fresh, but you've got to remember to change it. Most people don't even know it's there. Here on our Equinox, we had to take the glove box out and to find out about your car, you need to look at your owner's manual. But this is actually very easy. So once we've removed the glove box, it exposes a little door. And that door, it's got a couple of clips and in there, the cabin air filter. Now I gotta tell you, this one has been in it, I think since new, and uh, probably has many miles on it. You wanna call and order your part from your local auto parts store, it's very inexpensive, and goes in very easily. Just replace it. Now you always wanna check to see which way the airflow is supposed to go, and there is an arrow, usually, to indicate that fact. Just like that, goes in, latch the door, seal it up, and then, replace the glove box. But here's a perfect example of the kind of stuff you're driving around in if you don't replace this on a regular basis. This is disgusting, it is gross, I can't believe I was in it, but I'm very happy we did the job. Cabin air filter, so important. We'll be back with more Performance TV presented by Top Coat. TV presented by Top Coat is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking header bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Stealth Performance Products, providing diesel performance solutions. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. The simplest tools are often the best tools. Think about your creeper around the house or around the shop. It rolls around, but there is a better way. Yes, and we're going to show you some of the problems you can run into with your regular creeper. And Joe's trying to get under there. First thing he does, runs into the air hose. You're not going anywhere. No, I'm stuck. No, I'm, yeah. My nose just touched the undercarriage, Oh, Kathy. that's not good. So, you've got clearance problems. You're running into stuff underneath the vehicle. We can take care of that with the Magic Creeper. This thing is lightweight. It's nice and slippery. And Joe's going to show you how you can just roll it right underneath there. And you're going to have zero clearance issues. Plus, you don't have to worry about rolling over the power cord or the air hose or whatever you need to sit out on the end like Joe just showed you so that way you can just much roll better right underneath and you can still kind of slide side to side as well which it's not real easy on a regular creeper especially when you're running into the tools and everything else these are very durable if you do get some oil on them or whatever clean it right off and see you come right back up I love the extra clearance. It makes all the difference in the world. It's cleaner. I can move around more freely. I didn't get hung up on the air hose. I went right over my tool. I was able to take it with me. Yeah. So much better. Yeah, and you know what? You also don't have to worry about any weight limit on this at all, Joe. Oh, absolutely. Not that that's a problem for me, <laughs> by the way. Just, you know, sometimes that happens. It's a one size fits all. It doesn't matter how tall you are, short you are, and vehicles are only so wide. This has got plenty of travel to it. 
as you notice, once you set down, you can get completely almost across the vehicle and back and not have any worries. I like the fact you can store it in your vehicle. It's lightweight. It's easy to just throw in the back and it gives you all that extra ground clearance. Whether you're on gravel, you're on rocks, you're on the side of the road, wherever you are, it works. Even in your shop, your garage, you're not going to get hung up on tools. To me, it's simpler which makes it better. Absolutely. And you're not going to have to worry about, you know, messing up any expensive garage floors because you don't have wheels. Find out more about the Magic Creeper and make sure that when you're getting one, you go to their website to get the real thing. It's magiccreeper.com. Eight millimeter. Another trip to the toolbox, Kath? No, no, no. Don't you remember we have this really cool organizer? Da, 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 da. Oh. Wow, that's neat. Yes, Red Baron Tools. They've actually won an award for this organizer at SEMA. This thing can hold up to 200 pounds. And the nice thing is you're not going to be making a bunch of runs back and forth to your big tool caddy. You're going to be able to have most of the most common tools right here. 43 spots on the top and look at all the sockets and this turns. Wow, Lazy Susan. Hey, I could plan out my job. It looks like multiple people could work from this at the same time, and I won't have to go back and forth to the toolbox as often as I normally do. I can get my steps in somewhere else. Check that out. Pull that. Oh, uh, secret compartments. Yes, secret compartments on your Lazy Susan, and these all have magnets to keep them closed. Look at and that. And a nice drawer in the front. Wow. So you can have some other tools that are not going to be rolling around everywhere. Made out of 18 and 20 gauge steel, so like I said, it can support up to 200 pounds in tools if you have some liquid liquids or some bigger items that you need to roll over to your job, you got the spot on the floor as well. This could be my little work buddy. I love it. But what about like, is there something to cover it? Yes. Not, you know, you saw the little cover that I took off, but if you want to lock up your tools, that is available as well. Made out of a resistant, cut resistant material, lock them up, put them away at night and you'll feel much safer. I love it. I'm ready. All right. You want to find out more about this product, go to their website at redbarontools.com. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Performance TV and learned a little something as well. If you have a product that you would like to see featured on the show, just shoot an email over to sponsors at masterstv.com. We'll see you next time around for more of Performance TV.